What is up everybody? It's your boy Duty back again with another video and oh my lord breaking news breaking news. Apparently our boy Moist Critical responded to DSP's request for an interview. And I will play what he had to say and then I will I will give my fiery fiery comments back to that video. Oh my lord, crying emojis in the chat pip cats drought stairs cried her eyes out. I, heard uh, I think it was you were just gonna a interview divorce. DSP, by the way. Oh yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, I, I saw, I saw that. That's just, I'm not doing that. So well, what? Uh, do what? Apparently, he's like, he he doesn't like, he doesn't get mad at you. He's blocked my ass because I've watched too many of those hate videos. But yeah. apparently, you get the fucking pass because, you know, it's like moist critical. He just looks up DSP gaming and he just sees all the bad videos. I don't even blame him. What? Yeah, no, so I was just talking about, so to tie everything back, I was talking about Boogie and like the e-begging stuff, and then uh, I, I likened it to DSP, whose whole brand has become like, you know, making sure his viewers are giving him money or else yeah, like he saying makes... he has no time to do anything and he's so yeah, busy. Very similar. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. so I, I compared the two. DSP saw it and he made like a response to it and then was requesting an interview. I don't fucking interview people. I was just talking on stream about the shit. Like, it's not that deep. <laughs> I Oh my lord, there you have it. Moist Critical is clapping back on our DSP and basically responding back to him and saying, I'd rather get caught doing the incident on stream than interview your boring ass. Oh my lord, crying emojis in the chat. I'm curious to know if uh, DSP has actually seen this or watched this. He probably has. Uh, this was on a Twitter uh, on a Twitter cast. I believe you can do like Twitter videos, casting on Twitter and apparently Moist Critical does it. Uh, I've never tried it or done it before. But yeah, it was posted. Uh, actually, the first person I saw that had it was Aqua Teal. So big up to Aqua Teal. Uh, I saw it on a short and then I went digging for it, found it. And oh my Lord, our boy Phil is not gonna be happy today. I wonder if he's going to respond to it. And I'm curious to know if he's going to, of course, trash Moist Critical now for uh, one, not interviewing him, for uh, listening to the detractors and not being, um, you know, not wanting to hear all the sides and just being a dirtbag like every, like all the other detractors. I wonder if he's going to go that route or if he'll continue to kiss up to Moist Critical uh, to see if um, he has a chance uh, to get that interview. And I think Moist Critical, he's a smart dude. Uh, I've watched him. I've heard him. Uh, he he knows what's good for his brand and what isn't. And he knows that tying himself to DSP will garner him nothing whatsoever. Will probably just more hate. And secondly, um, well, for, well, first of all, he sees no benefit whatsoever. Secondly, he, he probably heard all of the um, crap that DSP wanted uh, as part of the interview, you know, all of these um, rules and regulations, things you can't, you can't talk about, you can't do. And Moist Critical said, nah, I'm good, Pam. I'm good. If I were to interview you, I want to be able to ask whatever the hell I want to ask. And I don't want to be tied down by your stupid parameters. So I guess DSP has to move on and find someone else that will give him the puff piece he wanted. And I, I, I published a video last week about it where uh, I honestly don't believe uh, Phil ever wanted to do any interview. I'm pretty sure if Moist Critical came out and basically said, well, no, you know, I really don't want to abide by those parameters. I'm going to be able to sure I'm going to be able to ask whatever I want. Yeah, let's do the interview. DSP would come up with some excuse to not be able to do. He would say, oh, well, Moist Critical didn't email me or he didn't call me at the appropriate time or, you know, uh, it just didn't work out. I'm too busy. I can't leave my streamer, you know, streaming. I can't leave my viewers. He'll, he'll come up with some lame excuse to not actually do the interview. So I'm pretty positive. It, it really doesn't matter. What he's going to do is if he did hear this, he's going to use this <clears throat> To garner more sympathy and garner, uh, you know, uh, more tips from his dents. I can hear him saying it now. Oh, well, Moist Critical, he didn't want to do it. The only reason why he didn't want to do it was because he didn't want to get the hate from my detractors. He knew that he would get his streams and his Twitter and everything would get bombarded by hate and negativity. And he didn't want to deal with that. So I understand why Moist Critical 
didn't want to bother. That's essentially what Phil's going to say. So it's a moot point. I just find it hilarious that Moist Critical did hear back about the interview and simply just laughed. <coughs> Excuse me. He just laughed in DSP face and basically was like, nah, pimp, I'm good. I don't need to. I, 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 I think he was trying to be nice, but you can just tell he wanted to say, you know, Fuck on with that DSP. I'm not having your toxic ass on my stream. So anyway, crying emojis in the chat. I'm pretty much, I'm sure that this dampered our boy DSP's uh, day off. And I'm pretty sure he'll talk about it today. Or maybe Snow Carl will tip a dollar and talk about it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out. Crying emojis.